video I'm going to show you how to calculate the average radius of two measured circles. I had someone ask me this in a training class and I thought I'd just share the solution with you since this may be useful to you. Okay so the first step is uh, we need to apply a location dimension to each circle so we have measured results. And the uh, formula to calculate the average is shown here in my edit window. So I need to use the math function average and then I'm using what's called an array. So an array is just a, uh, a group of data elements that all have the same data type. In this case, measured radius. So when you're using these type of expressions, every single character is important, every comma, every bracket. So I thought I'd just post it here uh, and share it with you to show that it works. We can also test this. If I just mouse over my expression, you can see it shows the, the solution, 24.875. So if you see something like zero or some sort of an error, or if it's red, that means you've, you've made an error in the syntax or in the way you type it. So now that we have that as a variable, we can do a couple things with it. We can plug it into an operator comment so it, it would come up during the execution. If we wanted that on a report, then we would need to create what's called a generic feature using this variable as a value in that generic feature. So I'll do both uh, real quick. I'll just do a quick comment. So this will be an operator comment. Um, I'll do that full screen. So this is a special type of a comment where I insert a variable into the text. So I'll just type it out. Okay, so there it is there. And I'll click OK. Okay, so the important thing to remember here is because we're using a variable and inserting it into a comment, we need to apply a space between the is and the quotation. Actually, I've done two spaces. So I just need one space, and immediately after the second quotation, the plus symbol, and then the variable. So let's see if that worked. So I'll just run this uh, as a block. There we go, so that worked. So during the execution of the program, the operator who, or whoever's running the machine will see that just pop up and then we can just click OK to that. The other option is to insert this into a report. To do that, I need to construct what's called a generic feature. So if I mouse over it, you can see here, it looks like a little asterisk. My generic feature, I'll choose a circle and I'll report the radius. So that's really all I need at this point. Um, the next step is to actually plug my variable into my generic circle. So down here on the bottom, you can see this row here, radius zero comma zero. So the first zero is the nominal size and the second zero is the measured size. So I'm really just interested in the measured size. So I'm just gonna type in V1 there. If we knew what the um, what the nominal is, I can actually type that in as well. So that would be 25, and there we go. The final step would be to actually dimension that as a feature. So we only want to report radius, nothing else. So we'll just create that and close. So now it looks like we're just dimensioning a regular measured feature. But the, uh, the tricky part to all of this is the assignment, the, uh, the using the, both the average and the array function in an expression. Okay, so there's the code. I uh, hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.